I'm Angie Romagosa, President and CEO of the Christian Sharing Center, and I support SIG because there are so many seniors in our community who can't get around this community, who need food, who have pets that they can't take care of, who have services that they need, all kinds of issues. We have so much focus on the kids in our community, and certainly children and their families need help, but sometimes we forget about our seniors. And I want to support SIG in helping us to refocus some of our energies on the seniors in our community. What are some of the challenges that you see seniors having in this community? I think the biggest challenge is transportation. Uh, so many seniors uh, are reluctant to give up their driver's licenses because they can't get around. The bus, the transportation system that exists is really not good. Seniors have to walk long distances and make several different changes of buses in order to get downtown to their doctors or to go somewhere shopping. And so they're not doing it. So they're driving and they don't belong on the roads or they're staying at home and they're not socializing. They need to be able to get out. And we need to get them there. Great. And why is SIG unique in your opinion? Well, I think SIG is unique because as I understand, one of, their, one of their big focuses is transportation. And I don't know of anybody in our community that's really focusing on getting seniors around. So I love that idea. The other thing that I'm hearing is that they're focusing on some of the services that seniors need. Boy, it's expensive to call an electrician or a plumber today. If we've got people who can go out and help seniors to get those things done at no or reasonable cost, then they'll be more comfortable in their homes. And we owe it to our seniors to let them stay where they are and be comfortable where they are. What is the difference between supporting seniors here versus other groups who need help? What's the distinction? Well, uh, you know, I certainly in my agency serves everybody, but right now I just want us to, to refocus on the seniors because I think people have a heart for children, as we all should, and so it's really easy to get people to focus on children. But sometimes we forget about our elderly. Uh, you know, we think that you, they've, um, take, they can take care of themselves, and we forget that they can't, and we certainly owe them that respect. So I, I see the difference in focusing on seniors is just kind of um, wying off our support so that we're not with any one population. We need to spread our support around to all different demographics of the population. Great. And can you talk a little bit more about what you do and what, for your organization and what your organization does? Well, the Christian Sharing Center is an organization that's been around for 26 years, serving the needs of the low income and poverty stricken in our community and helping to prevent homeless homelessness by providing for their material needs. We have a large food pantry, we have a thrift store where clients can get food and clothes, we have a MedNet and HealthNet program to help people get um, medical care, durable medical equipment and prescriptions. Um, we also have um, help with utilities and rent and we help people with transportation as far as bus passes go. We don't have a transportation program to pick seniors up. But we also have a brand new oasis, which is a place for um, homeless individuals and families to go to get showered, get their clothes washed and dried, get a haircut, a uh, place for kids to do their homework or families to look up uh, housing or jobs on a computer. Just kind of an all-round respite for families who are homeless. And what area do you cover? We serve all of Seminole County. We have a location in Longwood, which is where our oasis and our thrift store is. We also have a small sharing center located up in Sanford. Great. And what's your website? Our website is www.thesharingcenter.org. Awesome. Thanks so much for supporting SIG. Thank you. Thank